This is a Fryette power station. More specifically, this model is the Fryette PS100, but we're going to talk less about the specifics of this model and more about what Fryette's power station line of products can add to your arsenal of gear. Long story short, the Fryette power station is a reactive load box. There's a lot that we could talk about on that front, but the truth is we want to keep this simple. What you need to know is that guitar amplifiers produce power. That power needs somewhere to go. Normally, it's a speaker cabinet. It's commonly accepted that valve amps work best when they're cranked up. The tubes heat up and produce rich and organic tones. The problem is, most people could never kick their amps up to those volumes. That's where the power station comes in. A reactive load box sits in between the amplifier and the speaker, taking on all of the powered signal sent out from the amp. It turns your powered valve amp signal into a passive line signal, with no danger of blowing your amp up. The power station can then send that signal out to your speaker cabinet using its own power tubes at a much lower volume. Simply put, oh, maybe not that chord, that's better. You can get the most out of your tube amp at a more reasonable volume. So now let's put this into practice. We're going to crank the gain on this amp right up as well as the master volume. We can also shake the tone on the power station. Right now, the tubes in this amp are working overtime. Without the power station, there aren't many places where this tone wouldn't be absolutely deafening for everyone in the room. Luckily, that isn't a problem here. As we previously explained, the PS100 is taking all of that sound and lowering the volume as much as you'd like without affecting any tone. Let's show you just how much of a difference it can actually make. This is a decibel meter app, and this is the amp without the power station. 110, about as loud as a jackhammer up close. With the power station at about halfway, it's 90 decibels. That's still pretty loud and not recommended for prolonged periods of time, but it does the job. And the power station does also go a lot quieter. So we've gone over one of the most commonly used functions of a reactive load box, but the Fryette power station does a lot more than just lower signal volume. It can also make it louder. Unlike a lot of its competitors, the power station has tubes inside it, just like your amp. That means it can take the signal of this five watt Fender combo and boost it. The PS100 that we are using today has hundred watts of power, whilst the more budget friendly PS2 outputs 50 watts of power. It's probably worth mentioning that despite the difference in power output in these models, both units can take the same power input. That's the amp going straight through to the orange cab, no power station. And now with it on. Much, much louder. Another great feature of the power station is its ability to add an effects loop to your chain. A lot of older vintage amps don't feature an effects loop, so you're limited to where in your chain you can use your effects. We've stuck this Universal Audio Starlight Echo Station in the effects loop. whole other video on the benefits of an effects loop. What's important to note here is that your entire amplified guitar signal has a delay on it. If you plug the delay into the front of the amp, the delay tails would also be driven through the tubes. With the ability to add an effects loop to your amps that don't have one, the power station unlocks a whole new world of possibilities. Side note, 
the PS100's effects loop is also foot switchable. Here's another great feature of the Fryat power station. Maybe you don't want to use an amp at all. This is the Black Star Department 10 dual distortion. Basically, it's an amp in a box pedal. <laughs> At this point, we are totally bypassing the orange amp, going straight into the line input of the PS100 and using it as a power amp to turn your line signal into a powered one. The Fryet power station is an incredibly versatile unit that can be used in a wide array of applications for many different types of guitarists. We haven't even spoken about all of its features like the PS100's two channels or the power station's balanced output, perfect for recording your amp straight into your door or a mixer. What's important to note with the power station is that it adds a whole new dimension of possibilities to gear that you probably already own if you were a guitarist. One of the biggest issues so many guitarists face at home is achieving that valve tone without the hassle of a loud valve amp. There are many different solutions to the problem. Some people use a digital practice amp. Some people prefer amp modeling. Each solution brings a new challenge or compromise, a compromise that a lot of guitarists don't want to make. But why can't there be an option where your valve amp is usable in all scenarios? With the Fryette power station, there is. We absolutely love this product, and we hope this video has shown you just how valuable it could be to your rig. But it's not just about what we think, it's about what you think. So do you think the power station would fit into your rig? Can you think of an application that you might use it for? Please do let us know in the comments. If you've enjoyed this video, please also don't hesitate to throw us a like and maybe subscribe, and make sure to hit that bell icon if you want to stay up to date with all of our videos. If you do have any questions in regards to Fryat power stations or anything else for that matter, please feel free to get in touch with us again in the comments below or on our website, www.guitarguitar.co.uk. Thanks so much for watching. We hope you found this video helpful. Until the next one, see you soon.